What is going on, pros and average Joes? Redbeard here. And uh, by popular demand, and in my last video, I told you that I will be taking a... Um, showing you how to, how to hide your straps uh, inside the back plate to a, uh, uh, I guess, um, a goalie mask. So I took mine off the back of my helmet, and I'm going to show you how to do this in just a second. Let me get the camera situated, get it to a better angle, and uh, we'll get right on it. Okay, guys, so what I got now are all my pieces. I took apart the shell, um, which is actually just a few screws. It actually should be three screws, but um, you're only going to need two with the, uh, with the washers that come with it uh, to fit the strap into the back of your shell. So... You know, everything should, it would, it would pretty much just look like that. But, uh, you know, unclip the sides, take the screws out, and the shell should come right apart just like that. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to flip this inner shell over, if I remember co correctly. And I'm going to lace literally the inside of the, uh, the helmet. So you got your NHL logo or whatever, the five-point sling. And I'm just going to lace these inside of here. Just like you would with the, uh, the padding on, but with no padding on. So, now that that's in there like that, I'm going to try to, I'm going to take this. And you think it's going to be real easy just going right over top and then screwing them in. Well, unfortunately for us, let's see if I can get some better light in here, which I should have done before. Um... Is that the holes uh, get covered up by the straps itself? So what you're gonna have to do is try to pull them away. And what I ended up doing was taking a couple pieces pieces of tape, which I really should have had done beforehand. But you know, you're just winging it, just winging it. You know. All right. So I got this this super cool orange, brown, and yellow camo tape. Any tape will do. Um, I think it'll work better if you use electrical tape because I think it'll, it, it'll stick better to the uh, plastic. So what I'm going to do now is try to even up where the straps are in the helmet. So I'm going to try to get the center strap pretty much even on either side. And then I'm going to pull, pull the strap down so it's away from the hole. And then try to put the tape on top of the strap itself to uh to show the hole inside the uh inside the the shell so i'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side just to try to show the hole okay and then i'm gonna take my shell and now on the shell you can kind of see the the two um the two i guess screw holes that are already self-tapped and put in with uh, i guess this carbon fiber piece to keep this rigid I'm going to put that right over top. Now this is going to be the tricky part. You need to line the holes up with, without moving the straps too much. Because if you, do, if you don't, which I got lucky and I actually got on the first try. If you don't do that, you're going to have to go back and adjust and it just takes a little bit more time. Um, and again, there's now there's more space in here. I mean, now there's less space for the the foam padding to move. So you really got to try to push that push that uh, padding down and in. So then you see the the I guess the bracket or the the female piece to the screw, and then you just kind of tight, kind of loosely tighten that. And then what I like to try to do is pull the straps even make everything symmetrical on either side and there you go you pretty much have it um with the moving of the tape on the inside of the uh, inside on uh inside the back plate um they will move around so i just kind of take it and pull it out if i can i mean i'm probably gonna just end up cutting that to get it out but that's pretty much how you do it guys uh easy simple way to hide to hide your straps inside your back plate and now you can put stickers you can put whatever you want on the custom back you won't need that bottom screw because the strap actually covers it unfortunately 
but it still keeps everything real tight and uh, makes it real cool. So, hope you enjoyed the little tutorial video. Hope this helped. Um, if you guys have any questions, please like the video and leave a comment, and uh, I will uh, get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, that's it for now. But uh, other than that, hope to see you out there.